Our new flipping boxes widget came in originally as a request from the community. A user had sent us a site that had these really tasteful, simple boxes on them, and when you moused over them, they would flip over on the page. We thought it was a great looking effect, and we set out to try and build a widget that achieved it. Now this widget was actually really complicated to build and to figure out how to set up because we wanted to give you the ability to design a front and a back to this box and design it however you wanted it to look. There are similar widgets out there that have effects like this, however, they lock you into a rigid framework or a rigid design where you just get to pick fonts and change text. But on our widget, you can actually include anything you want. So as you can see on the sample site, this is the academics page from our academia template. These boxes are meant to outline the various courses or fields of study. And when you roll over them, they flip this one horizontally, this one vertically. And of course you can also click on them and download the application form. So it's a great widget and it's actually really easy to set up. Let me jump into Muse and show you how it's done. So the first thing we'll do is let's inspect the academia template and you can kind of get a sense of how you would start building these. So as you see on the page here, we've got the six boxes. And the one thing you'll notice is that you're not seeing the back of those boxes. And that's because if you click on the first one here and drag it out of the way, the box is actually contained behind the first one. So we just stack these on top of each other to make it a little bit easier for you to see on your design. The next thing is we have the widget itself sitting up in the top left corner of the flipping box. And on the widget, you have the flyout panel, of course, where you can set your various options. So the last thing that I'm going to point out on this is these boxes, if you just select this first one here, you'll see up in the top left corner that it says it's a text frame. And so these are not just rectangles or groups of items. This is actually a text frame. And within that text frame, we have more text and a small graphic. And as you can see, when I click on this, it says it's inline. And so that's what it means when something is kind of pasted into a line of text. So this is basically a text frame within a text frame. And that's how we use this widget as we create these boxes like this. So let me go ahead and set up a new one from scratch. And I'm going to create a new site. Okay, once I've created a new site, let me just jump into the main canvas here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the web and I'm going to download our flipping boxes widget. So I'm logged in, just click the download button on Muse themes and let's open up that widget. So it appears right away in our library panel. And as you can see, we just need to click it and drag it out onto the page. So now that we have the widget on the page, let's first go ahead and build our two boxes. So the main thing that you want to do for these is rather than just dragging a rectangle out, you want to actually click on the text tool and you want to create your box with the text tool. So let's create something simple, just a very simple square here. And of course we get a cursor in that field. For now, I'm not going to type anything in. I'm just going to apply a fill. So let's just go ahead and apply a black fill to that. And the next thing we'll do is let's add some text into that box. So the way that we do that is not by just clicking back in here with the cursor. Let's drag another text box out and let's type just in front box. So let me just go ahead and style up this text a little bit. I'm going to change it to, let's do something like Open Sans. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. So we'll go up to about 30 and I'm going to make it white. Okay, perfect. So now we're not seeing it on the canvas here. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut this entire box. So let's just click on it and go cut. And then let's double click into this text frame. So we have a cursor and let's paste that in there. So now you can see that we have a cursor after it and we could continue to write below. But for now, I've got this text frame within a text frame. So let's go ahead and center align that. So what this did was it center aligned the box within this box. But now let's click into this one, of course, as well. And let's center align that too. There you go. And center that. Okay. And then now what we want to do is we just want to move it down. So we can actually do that by just putting some simple uh, character returns or line breaks in there. Okay, so now we've got our front box built. What I need to do at this point is I need to create a new graphic style. So let's just make sure the box is selected. Let's create a new style and let's just call this front, just like that. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is I'll duplicate this box over and now we just need to change it to show whatever we want on the back side. So for example, I might change the fill color here. So let's go ahead and add a fill and I'll just put it to the Muse themes orange. Okay, so now we've changed the back fill 
And let's go ahead and change the text in here. We'll say something like flipped. Okay, and now if we wanted to add a simple graphic in here as well, we could do that by just, again, placing the image on the canvas, cutting it and pasting it into this box. So as you saw in the Academia template, we do have a simple kind of plus sign graphic here. And actually, let me just cut that out of this site and let me jump back in here and we'll go ahead and paste it. So if I place this graphic on the canvas just now, then I would of course cut it there and then mouse into this box and just paste it right there. Okay. So the next thing that I haven't done here is I need to create a graphic style for the back as well. Right now it's still using a front and a modified front style, but let's just create a new style again and let's call this one back. Okay, perfect. So now I'm happy with the look of my two boxes and I want to actually build the transition. So the first thing we need to do is click on the flipping boxes widget itself and it says front graphic style name and back graphic style name. Well, I'm gonna make sure these match exactly, so front and back, all in lowercase. And now we have our animation settings. So right now we're gonna use a horizontal flip and a transition speed of 0.4. I'm gonna go up to 0.5, so it's a little bit slower. But, so this is basically half a second. Okay, so now the last thing that we'll do is, let's just stack these boxes so they're nice and tidy. So I'm actually going to move the box behind to the back, and let's just stack it like that. And then make sure to move your flipping boxes widget up to the top left corner as well. I'm just gonna make sure that's on top. So there, now we have a neat little package and let's go ahead and preview this in the browser and see if it works. So our box appears and if I mouse over it, it flips. So this is working beautifully. And if I go back into Muse, let me show you some of the other transition effects. Uh, we have a vertical flip, which of course goes directly up and down, or we could do even a diagonal flip, which is really unique. Let me preview that again and show you what it looks like. There you go. So as you can see, it's flipping based on the top left and the bottom right as the axis. So it's a beautiful widget. I think our users are really going to love it. And another thing that I wanted to make note of here is that you can actually add hyperlinks into the box as well. So let's say I wanted the flipping box text here to have a hyperlink or to go to the home page, something like that. We could just link that up. It's just a simple text frame. You can, you can design it however you want. And now you can use these boxes as perhaps links to a portfolio or an area where users can click for more information. So that's a tutorial on how to use the flipping boxes widget. If you have any questions or concerns, please let us know. Thanks again for watching.